cat owners, have you ever wondered what your cat may be saying to you? Ever wish that you could decode your kitty's language, especially when they start behaving a little strangely? Well, you are in luck because there is a way to know. Here to help us interpret cat speak is vet Dr. Evan Anton. Welcome. Hi, how are you guys doing this morning? We are great. Happy to have you here. We all know how independent cats can be, and how do you go about yes. understanding what your cat is actually saying to us? You know, with, with any animal, you really just got to listen to them and really focus and pay attention to their behaviors and any changes in their behaviors. So if you're seeing things that are a little bit abnormal for them, like they're hiding more or they're scratching up furniture or urinating inappropriately outside the litter box or they're lethargic or less social, any of those things... You know, they might be trying to tell you um, in some way, you know, I'm stressed out or something's going on. It could be their health. And, you know, you want to make sure they're, they're obviously physically healthy. So consult with your vet if you see these changes. Make sure there's no physical health issues. And then start addressing things at home. So what are the main causes for strange behavior in cats? I think, again, health is one of the big ones. If there's an underlying disease process going on, we, that, that can certainly cause changes in behavior and stress. Uh, and changes in their environment. Cats are a lot like people, and so something as simple as a new cat or a new dog or a new baby or home improvement projects or, you know, any changes in their environment can cause uh, cats to get stressed. Got it. So what are some of the signals then that your, pat, or that your pet may be experiencing stress? I look for any changes in their behavior. So if I'm seeing, like I said, you know, some of the things I mentioned earlier, peeing outside of the litter box, you know, marking other places or scratching up furniture excessively or hiding or, or being aggressive or uh, not eating. I mean, these are all common signs of stress uh, that, that we could see in a cat. So if we're seeing this and, you know, as pet owners, we want to make sure that our pets are doing well and they're comforting or are comforted. What's the best way to create a calming environment so that we can take away that stress? Obviously, make sure you have everything the cat needs. So I want to make sure they have enough litter boxes, they're on a healthy diet, they get good enrichment. And if everything's all set and they're physically healthy, the next best option, in my opinion, is plug in a comfort zone air diffuser. These air diffusers release a pheromone, and this pheromone tells a cat this is a happy place, a safe place, and it really makes them a lot more comfortable. Uh, for those of you that don't know, pheromones are chemical cues or scents that animals use to communicate to one another um, uh, within the same species. And so many species do this, even people have pheromones. And so they can say things like, you know, I'm reproductively active, or I'm, I'm, I'm nervous or scared, or I'm happy, or this is my territory, you know? And so again, with comfort zone, they're only doing the happy smells, but it really does help these cats and it really makes them more comfortable in their environment. Great, so where can we go for more information on that comfort zone and, and other information about just sort of knowing what our cats are talking about? Yeah, for information on the diffusers and pheromones and cat stress, you can go to comfortzone.com. All right, perfect. Dr. Evan, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.